road trip to the Modern Art Museum. Here we are at the Modern Art Museum with collections that represent the international and post-World War II era. Currently on temporary display, we have companion passing through by cause. The ticket price for students is four bucks and a single membership will set you back 65. But the first Sunday of each month is absolutely free for non-members. And that's why if I had my choice, and I do, I choose the model for that low price and then free days. Here we are on the second floor of the Modern Art Museum of Fort Worth. We're going to take a look at an artist named Robert Bechtel and his painting of 63 Bel Air. It's on oil and canvas. He's a real photorealist painter and it's 48 by 69 inches in size. Now, when I first saw this painting, I was just amazed at how it seemed so real, reminding me of one of our own west side neighborhoods. His use of vertical lines that seemed to bring the viewer right up to the curb. There's great attention to detail displayed in the missing molding strip on the side of the car, the license plate, and the grass growing up between the cracks in the driveway. He has a brilliant transition in color from the grass that's created by the edge line. The use of light brings out the subtle reflections and shadows that allow you to imagine that it's around 5 p.m. or so. It's like a portrait of an ordinary car and an ordinary home and the light use of brushwork is what makes it all just pop right from the canvas. Robert Bechtel is a native of California. He's chosen to immortalize on canvas things that capture the essence of the American experience. In his eyes, those are the things that are the images that he is most familiar with, like cars and neighborhoods. The reason for his painting style and paintings is that he wants the viewer to first be able to quickly relate to the images as naturally as if they were right out of their own community, and second, be able to marvel at how the images are painted. Part of that American experience in 1973 was a landmark decision of Roe v. Wade and the Vietnam War that ended. For a long time, abortion had been a heavily disputed topic. I believe that a woman has the right to determine the outcome of the situations affecting her body. Some people have very strong opinions on abortion, but in 1973, the Supreme Court ruled in favor of Roe legalizing abortion. One of America's most controversial conflicts was the Vietnam War. The war was not supported by many Americans. I have relatives and parents of friends who are very reluctant to speak of the war, if at all. The signing of the Paris Peace Accords in 1973 would effectively bring the war to an end.
I just like to thank the Modern Art Museum of Fort Worth, Robert Bechtel, RC Incorporated, January 2013, Webb, 1, April 2013, Roe v. Wade, Information Please, Pearson Prentice Hall, 2005, Webb, 4 March 2013, and Peace with Honor in Vietnam, Almanac World News Digest, Facts on File News Services, January 23, Web 8 March 23.